Hey guys, so I actually got ready to go to the synagogue, but um, since I am still waiting for sunrise to Daven, I've already said my wake up prayer, wash my hands, but the other prayers I still need to wait for sunrise. So <laughs> I decided to record a video because. Um, it's one of the topics that has been quite a little controversial um, since I started my conversion and I've got a lot of comments um, on my Facebook, Twitter actually, um, because every time that I mention that I'm converting, there's some funny idiot that mentions circumcision and for whatever reason whenever you mention that you're converting to judaism some bloody idiot mentions circumcision first and foremost for all those who don't know i cannot have children until i convert whether i date a gentile whether I date a Jew, I cannot have children until I convert. So I cannot marry, I cannot be in a relationship. I can be in a relationship, but not you know, intimate until I convert. So the first anti-Semitic comment usually people bring up is, you're cruel because you're going to circumcise your children. First and foremost, you're assuming that I'm having children. Then you're assuming that I am going to give birth to males, which is possible that I am never giving birth to males. Ugh. Bloody ignorance. So first and foremost, yes, I do intend to get married. Yes, I do intend to have children and hopefully healthy boys. Now, going back to the past, I used to have preconceived notions about circumcision and I used to be an atheist agnostic so of course I also adopted a lot of propaganda I read a lot of propaganda about circumcision that I've since seen debunked and seen that it didn't make any sense now I still am against medical circumcision for aesthetic reasons but I think that it is obnoxious that people should tell Jewish parents uh, not to circumcise their children. First and foremost, they have no knowledge of Allah. They have no knowledge of the importance of circumcision and the significance of circumcision in the life of a little boy. They tend to say that I am selfish, that I have fetishes with baby penises when they are probably, most of them actually are single men obsessed with someone else's foreskin and your children's penises they don't have girlfriends they don't have wives and they obsess over your child's penis or non-existent children's penises which is even more hilarious so the thing is um circumcision is very important in the life of a jewish boy and um, everyone comes with the consent thing. They start to compare it to female circumcision, which has nothing to do to male circumcision. And uh, they start to talk about consent, how you mutilate your children, how men stop having pleasure uh, because they don't have a foreskin. They start to spread a lot of lies about foreskin saying, it's the most sensitive part of the penis when actually it is the glands and that area but they spread a lot of myths they sometimes even convince jewish men to feel they are missing out uh in their sexual lives and there's a lot of propaganda that is geared towards destroying judaism and as you can see one of the first things that happens in countries that are trying to destroy Judaism, in 
you see this is a pattern all over history when a nation gets jealous of Jewish intellect power and economic power they start banning three things the Torah circumcision and kosher food and then they do prog programs and uh, inquisition and all that to kill Jews or force them to convert to their religion and today it is uh, forcing them to convert to politics so everyone wants to force Jews to become communists and abandon the Torah there are several attacks on Jewish habits on Jewish traditions and especially focal points in our relationship to God. Now, people who don't understand Judaism claim that Jewish parents are self selfish because they don't let their boys choose whether to be circumcised or not, and that they are cruel because they are not giving children a chance to choose whether they're going to be circumcised or not. They talk about consent. They talk that the Jewish boy may not want to be Jewish. Whatever. What they fail to understand is that as a Jew, you have a covenant with God. You have mitzvah to fulfill. And any parent that decides not to circumcise their boy out of, oh, I'm going to cause pain to my boy. Oh, it's his choice. I should respect his choice. Is actually being selfish and doing this out of their own guilt, out of their own selfish reasons, not caring about their boy. Really self, how do you feel a mother feels when she hears her baby screeching of pain because he's being circumcised? You know, it's not about your feelings and it's not about consent. The thing is, for a Jewish boy, one of the most important, if not the most important moment in his life is when he is circumcising. It's when he enters the covenant with God. And of course they start saying, oh, why don't you get circumcised? And uh, women, blah, 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 they're selfish, whatever. It's not supposed to be like this. Women are already born circumcised and they don't need to, according to Jewish tradition. If you read the Talmud, you see why women are not circumcised. And um, they start a lot, a lot of nonsense. So let me tell you one thing, the, they say it's cruel not to let your boy consent. You know what is cruel? What's cruel is Jewish parents who decide not to circumcise their boys when they're eight days old. First and foremost, they don't get traumatized like people say. They heal faster because they still have stem cells in their bodies. They have a lot of endorphins from birth on the eighth day. It's actually the day that their endorphins and their antibodies and everything is at the highest point. So it's actually the best day to circumcise them. And also, they won't have to go through that as adults and they won't be excluded from Jewish life. If you understand one thing, it's, um, and again, you have reformed Jews not circumcising their children. They're not respecting their children's mitzvah. And those boys are not Jewish and won't be accepted by the Beit Din until they're circumcised. Yes, they are sons of Jewish mothers, if they're sons of Jewish, Jewish mothers, they are 
Jews, but they won't be able to marry or start learning the Torah, have their bat bar mitzvah until they're, they're circumcised. And uh, if their parents don't do it, at 13, it becomes his responsibility. And how do you, how traumatic do you feel it is for a Jewish boy to be raised not circumcised? It's terrible. It's, it's the most cruel thing in the world for the boy. Not only are the parents not respecting their children's mitzvot, they are teaching them politics that make them stray from the Torah. That is awful. And um, I understand Gentiles doing that. A lot of them do it, most of them do it out of anti-Semitism and ignorance, but there are actually a lot of Jews also going against circumcision and saying that uh, I'm cool because I'm converting Orthodox and I'm promoting herpes and all those myths, all the, you know, all those things that are cruel um, and nonsensical. So, for you to understand how important circumcision is, some Balt Shuvas that I actually know one, when they are already circumcised and they don't know the circumstances, or if the um, circumcision was properly and logically correctly done, what they do is they do hatat fat tamrit to make sure that their circumcision and they are logically connected to Hashem. And uh, for a boy, I don't think my children would forgive me if I decided not to circumcise them. You have to understand, and I've come a long way, you know, because you have to understand, for a Jewish boy, it's actually bad not to be circumcised. And um, it's, it's like, if you're an atheist, or if you are a communist, or whatever you are, and don't know that God exists, you have the arrogance to question God's uh, way of beginning the covenant with man. And the significance of circumcision in Jewish tradition. So what you will do is you will make your moral judgments on Jewish parents, not understanding that this is one of the most important mitzvot for men and for boys. And any parent that refuses to circumcise their children because of some misguided sense of rape or consent or whatever, you're being selfish. You are making your boy stray from the Torah and you are making his life harder. Not only will he have to seek out circumcision himself as an adult, which will be harder, harder to heal, and will have prevent him from living a full life as a Jew. And um, I don't understand why people mess up and judge other people's parenting. Mind you, I don't have children and think a little bit. I'm still converting. Um, I'm not officially, I don't, I don't have my file open and the bait in officially, so at least 12 more months for that to happen. Then I'll have to marry or find a partner and then get pregnant and then 
only eight days after I get pregnant and if I have a boy, will my child be circumcised? So why do people keep on trolling me on Twitter and obsessing about my non-existent children? There is far more to worry about. And yes, I am going to circumcise my boys. I want my boys to be raised Torah observant and I don't want any of them to miss their mitzvah because of my politics. The thing is, to me, their connection to Hashem is very important and I'm not doing anything to break that connection. It's the most selfish thing for parents to choose for their children what is right or what is wrong. In this case, I will be a mother to Jewish boys. And um, it is not my decision to not circumcise them. It is their connection to Hashem. And my obligation as a mother is make sure that my children are raised in the Torah and they stay connected to, connected to Hashem. I know most people won't understand it, but I'm sick and tired of getting negative comments about my decisions. If you cannot understand them, read the Torah, read the Talmud, and read the significance of circumcision for Jewish boys. It is important in this day and age to raise our children following the Torah. If you are Jewish and you don't circumcise your boys and teach them communism instead of you know, teaching them the Torah, or, you know, if you're not observing the mitzvah, you're not, you're not only harming yourself, you're harming the entire Jewish people. Especially if you live in Israel and, you know, every Jew's action has an impact on the Jewish people as a whole. And by not circumcising your boys, by teaching your girls feminism, by not following the Alaha, you are harming not only yourselves, but the entire Jewish people. So if you're Jewish, circumcise your boys, teach them the Torah from a young age. Teach your girls how to be girls and follow Zinyut properly from a young age. It is very important to stay close to Hashem and follow the teachings of the Torah. If you're converting to Reform Conservative or whatever non-Orthodox movement, don't even bother if you're not going to keep the Alaha, because you can just be a Noahide if you're not going to follow through and keep the mitzvot. Your actions when you become Jewish will reflect on the entire Jewish people. So that's it. If you don't intend to keep the mitzvot, don't convert. And don't, you know, that's another thing, because a lot of Converts are doing it for because they believe Judaism is uh, SGW and uh, you know social politics because a lot the the entire reform conservative movement is basically identity politics and not Judaism and so you're creating a lot of fake Jews and teaching them wrong things about Judaism that is going to reflect negatively on all Jews.
So stop telling me how to raise my children and pick up the Torah Talmud and try to understand the significance of boy of certain mitzvot in our children's lives and why circumcision is important and stop making stupid comparisons that make absolutely no, no sense and stop leaving negative comments just because I'm converting to Judaism. It's not fair to leave comments about circumcision when at the moment my biggest concern is getting close to Hashem and learn. Why are you talking to me about non-existent children? You know, it's, it's really one of the most anti-Semitic behaviors I've dealt with. And yes, I'm circumcising my children whether you want it or not. I didn't, I hadn't considered anything prior to people starting attacking me just because I'm converting. But after careful reflect, ref, reflecting carefully, I decided that the most important thing is when I convert, I'll be Jewish and all my children will be Jewish. And so the most important thing is raising them Torah observant and making sure that they connect to Hashem on a deep level and they keep all their mitzvah from birth. That's my main objective. And I don't care what you think about consent. I don't care what you think about whatever. I know that as my kids grow, they will thank me for giving them values and keeping them close to Hashem. And if I didn't circumcise my boys, they would certainly resent me for not doing that. So stop talking about children that are not yours and, you know, get a life. You know, get a life. I'm sick and tired of stupid single boys who can't get a girlfriend, who can't get a life, trolling people on the internet just because they're Jewish or converting to Judaism and obsessing about baby foreskins. That's really sad. So, bye. That's true today. I'm going to the synagogue. Bye.